Over 200 Australian team relatives and supporters travelled to Mapo village, about 40 minutes by car on virtually deserted freeways from Beijing, to the Shunyai Olympic Rowing and Canoeing Park, where the flat water and slalom courses were located. Saturday the 16th of August 2008 was a great day for Australian rowing. Having just won the gold in the men's pair with Drew Ginn and Duncan Free, the men's double skull of David Crawshay and Scott Brennan and coached by Rhett Ayliffe charged off the starting blocks. So an even start, men's double skulls, the Aussies in lane three, 29 year old David Crawshay and the crew stroke. The stroke of this double skull is Scott Brennan from Hobart who studied medicine at the University of Tasmania and graduated with honours in 2007. David Crawshay in the bow seat is from Melbourne and a member of Mercantile Rowing Club and later in 2008 was awarded the Rowers Rower Award voted by his peers. This reminds me of the race back so with Peter Antony and Steve Hawkins when they won the gold medal back in 1992. This is very similar. They get in front, they're very, very gutsy athletes, these rowers. They've got their very comfortable position of being a boat length in front. They're now starting to run. Some gold medals are expected, some come out of the blue, and none are better than this one. Out-of-boat experiences are also part of the opportunities elite rowers can find when racing overseas. And the sights and sounds of Beijing during the Olympics was no exception. Not surprisingly, all eyes were on whether Australia could achieve a gold medal hat trick. In the defending champions, keep an eye on them in lane four, the crew from Great Britain, the crew from the Czech Republic in five, and it's Germany in lane six. Ever since Barcelona in 1992, when the awesome foursome emerged, intense rivalry between Australia and Britain has focused on this boat. Slovenia a second, 1.27 seconds behind the Aussies. Great Britain in lane four a third. The Australian men's heavyweight four had qualified for the Beijing Games at Poznan, Poland, by winning the gold medal at the World Cup. The Hegarty, Mackenzie McHard, Marburg, Ryan, crew had missed out on selection in the men's eight, but as a four, they had clicked and were in top form pleasing everyone except the British four who were reigning Olympic champions. A gallant performance by Australia but Great Britain make it consecutive gold medals. Silver for the Australians on their Olympic debut and it's bronze for France. I ventured into the restricted media area to see the Australian four arrive for the medal presentation. You'll notice that the rowers can hardly stand after the race because they've just spent six minutes exerting more pressure on their legs than they'll probably ever do in their lifetime. The muscles sort of seize up or burn out and take hours to recover. Yeah, good day for Australia. What a great day. Two goals and a silver. It doesn't get any better than that. It certainly doesn't. A great day. And how's the commentating going? Well, we're going okay. First class. As good as the racing. In fact, the racing, <laughs> yeah, the, the racing took the commentators with them. Yeah,